Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 40. That is, what are test cases? Let me answer. Test cases contain a set of instructions. What does the test cases contain? Test cases contain a set of instructions. Using these instructions, the software testers will verify whether the application functionality that is developed by the developers is working as per the client specified requirements or not. Okay, that's what is the purpose of the test cases. So these test cases that I'm talking about here can be created inside a document. Okay, we can create these test cases containing a set of instructions inside a document. So the document can be an Excel file case, as simple as an Excel file. Inside an Excel file, we can create the test cases. Or in some projects, in some projects, in most of the projects, guys, the test cases will not be created directly inside the Excel file. Rather, the test cases will be created using test management tools. Okay. The projects will be different projects will be using different test management tools based on the companies and all. So in that test management tools, we'll be writing the test cases. Either in some companies, test cases will be written inside the Excel file, whereas in some companies, test cases will be created inside the test management tools. Okay. So one example of a test management tool is Jira. We have ALM, okay, ALM, Jira, and many test management tools are available in the market, guys. So depending on the company and projects, so we use the test management tools. And in the test management tools, we are going to create the test cases. Okay. If there is no test management tool used by your project, then the project team will create the test cases inside the Excel file, okay? A normal document like Excel file. Either Excel file or test management tools like Jira, etc. will create the test cases. I'll show you an example of a uh, test cases document created inside a document, guys. So instead of a test management tool, I'll show you an example of a test cases of the test cases which are created inside a document like Excel file, okay? So here is the document, guys. As you can see on the screen, it's an example for the test cases created inside an document like excel file okay microsoft excel file so here as you can see guys uh, all these are the test cases belonging to this login functionality guys okay the login functionality of the application for verifying the login functionality of the application a set of instructions are provided inside this particular tab sheet of this excel file okay so how many test cases are there let's see here there are around 23 test cases for the login fun for testing the login functionality of this particular application there are 23 test cases created what is the application for which this particular test case are created? As you can see in this, the URL of the application is mentioned. This is the application for which this particular test case are created. In order to verify or test the functionality of this application to see whether the application functionality is as per the client specified requirements or not, these particular test cases are created. Inside the test cases, the instruction set of instructions are provided. You see, a lot of instructions in the form of steps are provided here. There are around 23 test cases for this login for testing the login functionality of this particular application. This is the login functionality, guys. To test the login functionality of the application, here we have 23 test cases, around 23 test cases created and provided in the form of instructions in this document. That is Excel file document. Okay. So, so this is an example of a test case document. Guys. Okay. This is an example of the test case document. You see what does it contain? Uh, test case ID is there. Okay. This particular test case document contains a test case ID. So you see this particular test instruction should be different from this particular instructions. So unique IDs are given here with the names like uh, TC means test case, LF means login functionality. Okay. Here LF means login functionality 001. Like that 002, 003, login functionality zero, like that 23 are there. And here title for each and every test case, uh, uh, test case for this login functionality, there is a title specified. Okay. There is a title. And there are prerequisites. Okay. Before you start testing, you should make sure that you have followed, uh, you have this prerequisites ready. And after the presets are satisfied, you can start testing using the steps. Okay, these are the actual instructions you can say. We blindly have to follow the instructions and perform testing. Okay, this is the test data that we have to pass while testing the test case. And uh, this is what should happen. Okay, uh, when you when you follow these instructions and uh, when if required, you provide this test data. So then you should get this particular result specified under the expected result column. Okay. If the expected result is matching, okay, while you are verifying this particular test case, okay, instructions when you are verifying against the client requirements, the if you are getting a different result, okay, actual result means uh, while testing whatever the result you got is actual result, guys, okay. If the actual result is different from the what is expected, what should happen in that case, we are going to fail the test case, okay. Here we are going to fail the test case when whatever that you are testing is not matching with whatever is expected as part of this instruction, we are going to fail the test case. But what if the actual result is matching with the expected result, actual testing result is matching with the expected result. 
of this instruction then we'll pass it as case okay like that we can provide this is status case okay status we have to mention the status here so this is what is a test case at a high level guys okay this is what is a test case at a high level so guys so how do we create the test cases first uh, we'll create something known as test scenarios guys okay so before we create the test cases we create test scenario so test, what is test scenario test scenario is a high level test case okay a high level test case you will create for that high level test case you will create positive and negative negative test cases okay n number of positive and negative test cases possible you will create for this high level test case that is test scenario so for example in this document i will show you for example guys here i create first i created in this particular test case document i create i provided this test scenarios uh, tab or sheet in which the high level test cases are provided that is test scenarios are provided for example one of the test scenario is test scenario 002 is log, regarding the login functionality verify the working of the login functionality is simply the high level test case that is nothing but the test scenario for this particular single test scenario for this particular uh, scenario related to the login functionality you see how many test cases are created for this login functionality how many test cases are possible 23 test cases are possible to verify the working of the login functionality 23 test cases are possible for the application for the application that i just now shown so how the test cases are differing here only one scenario is there login functionality testing the login functionality is a scenario for that how many test cases are coming 23 test cases. how here you see what we are doing verify logging into the application with valid credentials okay that is one test case verify logging into the application using invalid credentials okay here valid credentials you are testing the login functionality invalid you should not get logged in with invalid credentials. you should get logged in with valid credentials that those these two test cases now third test case verify logging into the application using invalid email address and valid password valid email address and invalid pa password like fourth test case fifth test case let's go with the fifth one uh without providing any credentials okay verify logging into the application without providing without providing any credentials you want to log in okay so if you don't provide credentials it will not allow you to log in that's what should happen okay that's what is expected here and verify the forgotten password link okay is available on the login page or not okay verify logging into the application only by using the keyboard keys without using mouse verify uh have the placeholder text or not whether whether this uh, email address field and log uh, password field have the proper placeholder text you see some grayed out email address and password text is available inside the text field those text is available or not verify logging on the application and browsing back a lot of test cases are here guys okay for a login functionality this many test cases we have created but how many scenarios are there only one scenario will be there for the login functionality verify the working of the lo login functionality is a high level test scenario or high level test case for which we created this many number of test cases okay so guys how do we create the test cases first we'll create the test scenarios for that each and every test scenario we'll create good number of test cases a okay? possible number of test cases that's how we create the test cases so what are the different uh, columns we have in the test cases guys as I already explained here what are the different columns we have in this uh, test case document test case id like that okay test case id test scenario okay for which we are creating all these test cases multiple number of test cases for the functionality test case title prereq site test steps test data which have which has to be used while testing this uh, steps and all for the particular test case expected result what should have what should be the result okay what is expected is this one actual means when you are testing whatever the actual result you got okay that's what testing result this is the testing result this is the expected one if both are matching the test will pass okay under the test status will pass and on the top of that we have the priority guys okay so sometimes we will not get uh, time for testing all the test cases so we will depend on the priority we will first test the p1 you see whatever the test cases that are mentioned with priority one high priority will test first for example there are some test cases having p3 third priority okay we can delay them okay first we'll test the high priority test cases later we'll go with the next priority okay so if uh, you don't have much time to perform uh, to test the entire test case document for testing an application in that case we'll first go with the high priority test cases we'll first test the high priority test cases then based on the time we'll go with the next priority okay once all the high priority test case high priority test cases are completed testing as per all these functionalities of the application once they are completed we'll go to the second priority okay we'll we'll start testing all the second priority test case across all these functionalities then third priority test case and so on fourth fourth priority and so on okay like that we'll perform testing and uh test status just now explained right uh, test status is this, this uh, either you can say this as a result or status guys okay anything is fine you can even mark it as status also okay here we'll give our final judgment if this actual result is matching with the actual testing result is matching with the what is expected that is expected is nothing but the client requirement here 
okay if the actual testing result is matching with the client requirement we'll pass the test case otherwise we'll fail the test case if you fail the test case we have to report a defect in the defect tracking tool and that defect details should be provided under the comments for example here you see if, uh, this here actual result is not matching you see user is getting logged out user should not log out okay is getting logged out but expected is should not log out as per the client requirement so since they are not matching we have reported a defect here failed due to the defect with the defect id that uh, we have after we will get the defect id after reporting the defect the defect tracking tool okay so those details we have to provide here so guys with this uh, i am done explaining about the test case this is what exactly are the test cases guys okay in simple words test cases contains a set of instructions okay test cases contains a set of instructions using which we can verify okay we are using which we can verify the application functionality which is developed by the developers is working as per the client specified requirements or not okay here client specified requirements are provided here matching or not we will verify okay that's possible with the help of the test cases so hope guys you got the answer for this uh, question interview question so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye